So someone named NetAlien17 made a rant video on Battlefront 2. Oh great. What else can I say about this game? I mean, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of EA. I'm sick of them exploring Star Wars. I mean, seriously. In this game, you have different eras. You have Clone Wars. Uh, you have the Galactic Civil War. And then you have the new Star Wars movie era, or whatever it's called. They're not going to give those to you for free. First off, they added all of those eras because the fans requested them. They are giving you more content than from the previous game because they listen to the fans' feedback. And if you think this is exploiting, then you don't know what that word means. And they will give us free content. They're not. They're, they're going to be divided up. I hope you guys realize that. It's E-freaking-A. They get you to pre-order their games. They get you to buy their games. Once you buy it, nothing you were advertised for that game is actually in the game. EA promised us no season pass. They said they will keep adding more content. But it is promised to come to us free. I can wait. And so can everyone else. And then morons line up like lemmings to get this game. Even after they've been screwed over year after year by this company. I have only been in quotes, screwed over, by this company once. Why don't you just sell everything in the game, day one? Why don't you just sell it all in the same package? Why do you have to have people keep buying stuff over and over again, little pieces inside your game? Micro transactions. Yes, micro transactions are going to be in this game. Well, there are new movies of Star Wars coming out. They want to constantly add new content. And they can't make a new game whenever something new comes out. So they will add to it. They said that they will be adding new things that are free. Don't take my word for it. Read this article. And it's funny to me, because every year, EA fanboys say, No, they wouldn't do that. It hasn't been released yet. What are you talking about? And they're so stupid, man. They're so dumb. The irony and hypocrisy in that sentence. You can't say fanboys are dumb yet you did not do your damn research. I mean, how much money are you going to give these guys, for God's sake? I mean, how much money have you spent on EA? Just think about it. Just think about it. $100 for the full game. The only money I gave to EA was about $111. Even though it's advertised, it's only $60. You have the season pack, or whatever it's called, whatever the heck it's called nowadays. And um, it basically has half the game. It's supposed to be this add-on, but it's basically like half the freaking games in there. So you pretty much have to buy the season pack. Have to. You have no choice. Or else the game will just suck for you. Oh well. You'll be playing the same five or six maps over and over again. If you don't buy a season pack, you'll just be screwed over and you'll just be bored of the game. I will explain this one more time. And if he continues talking about it, we will skip it. This game does not have a season pass. They are going to be throwing free content at you. The previous Battlefront did not do this. They charged you for what should have been in the base game. But the game is boring regardless, in my opinion. So you have played the whole game? Or what is of it now? If so, we would see gameplay on your channel. But you are just an ignorant gamer who wants to say it will suck before it releases. You used the previous game as proof. So, what do we have here? We have stuff that should have been in the original game. Now we have Galactic Civil War era which was in the last game, and we have Clone Wars era, which should have been in the last game. And then we have the crappy Force Awakens era. And we have Space Battles too, which obviously should have been in the last game. I mean, EA, they'd actually be labeled as a great company if they actually put all that stuff in the original game, but no, they have to dissect it. 
I mean, who knows how much other stuff they've taken out of this game just so they can make a part three and a part four. It's, it's redundant at this point. And the stuff that's actually in the game, they don't even do well. I mean, you took out all these bits and pieces from the game, but you don't even do this stuff well. I mean, the combat's just boring. How is it boring? Explain to me how it is. The animations look stiff. Your character looks so freaking stiff. Explain this too. Why does the person you're playing look so stiff the way he moves side to side? Who animated this? Who, I mean, seriously, they don't even look like real people. I mean, they're just animations, basically, just moving side to side. You use the movements of characters as to why the game sucks? The movements are fine. Yes, they move side to side. Quick question, if you hate Battlefront, why are you playing it? And people eat this up. Oh, yeah. Oh, Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be the best game of the year. Oh, I mean, shut up. Shut up. How stupid could you possibly be? This game will suck. It's going to be trash. Everybody who liked EA Star Wars Battlefront will worship this game. Even though they only played EA Star Wars Battlefront for a month. I have been playing since 2015. They are going to add a campaign. Also, in your video which will be linked in the description titled, Previous Battlefront Video. You seem to praise the original Battlefront 2. When that game was also just running somewhere at shooting someone. At least, six months. I played Halo 3 for like, four years. Four years before I stopped playing this. Why is it that games like this, you can only play for a certain period of time before it gets super boring. Because there's nothing to do. The gameplay is stale. The game is stale itself. There's not enough maps. There's not enough actual variety inside the actual game. You're just doing the same thing over and over again. Running to a waypoint. Shooting the guys at that waypoint. Taking over the waypoint. Moving, shoot him up. It's a shoot him up. No skill gap whatsoever. There are no good players. There are no bad players. Everything's just given to you. And people worship this game like it's the highest piece of trash ever. Ever. Jesus Christ. This guy's channel is just a rant channel. Type in rant on his channel and you will be surprised. Anyways, don't hate on him. And have a good day everyone.